All right, what is up, everybody? Here we are today with a deck from DM Wanderer. This is the Kodiak GDI. Yeah, I don't know, man. This this deck uh, this deck's real really going to struggle with tanks until Kodiak. Probably even after Kodiak, because Kodiak is so bad. We're definitely going to go for some Kodiak base skills, though. That is that is one thing the Kodiak does incredibly well. Kodiak absolutely shreds bases. Three, two. Okay, so we want to open dogs because we got dogs. Great opening. And we want to go harvester because we have a Kodiak that needs to be made, and that costs Tiberium. And harvester is good at making Tiberium. We're up against PQ Spree. Uh, don't know what the PQ stands for. He doesn't. What's he doing? I want to go Pitbull, but yeah. This guy's just doing nothing. He's also gone Pitbull. Alright, we're, we're on the same page, PQ. Me and you, buddy. I guess we'll charge. Actually, no, we probably shouldn't charge the missile since we're trying to Kodiak. Hopefully he doesn't have a Predator tank. That'll be a nightmare. He is shooting my dog. Oh, friend. You want to shoot the Pitbull, mate. Just spoiler alert. Buddy. Pro tip. Shoot the, you want to shoot the Pitbull, not the dog. Alright, so we're obviously going to win this Pitbull fight. And we're going to win the next Pitbull fight as well. And then hopefully we're going to win the third Pitbull fight. Oh, he's shooting the healthy Pitbull as well. It's, oh, mate. Absolutely, absolutely nobbling himself here. Uh, we should be able to have enough money for shocks. Yeah, there they are. I want to do some damage to these dogs before the shocks come in. Alright. Shatterer. Dice, is that you? Dice? <laughs> Secretive dice? Why are these missiles at full hit points? Did the shock not get to them? Okay, we got we got the first missile against PQ. Now how close are we to this Kodiak? Only 110 away. Nice. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll make some cheap units to save up for the Kodiak. So we'll make missiles and dogs for a bit. Try and save for that sweet, sweet Kodiak. Code action. Kodak moment. That's what we're going for, the Kodiak moment. An orca? My friend. Unacceptable. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I can taste the Kodiak. Alright, there he is. Kodiak, let's go. We'll sneak him around the top. We'll divert his attention south with his pit bull. And then he'll never see the Kodiak. Oh, well, he just immediately scouted it with the dogs. What a jabroni. <laughs> How did he know, chat? How did he know? Alright, we're still going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Come on, Kodiak, get in there. He's made a talon, but he's not defending his base with it. More fool you, PQ. Look at how fast the base goes down. Oh my god, we probably saw this out. Nah, it doesn't even matter, does it? Get him, Kodiak! Yeah, let's go. We didn't even take a hit to the base before the game was over. Kodiak too strong. Robo top. I wonder if this is the real Robocop. Probably isn't, one would assume. Oh, double half? You Unacceptable, my dude. I don't think we can Kodiak this guy. Double Harvester is, uh, double Harvester start means that we probably can't stall the game out long enough to get to our Kodiak. Rhinoceros, the best opening. The best opening a GDI player is capable of. I wonder if we should start opening Rhino. Things haven't been going great for GDI on ladder lately. I wonder if we need to spice things up. For the Rhino opening. Oh, an MLRS, that's kind of scary. Uh, no, I don't think so, man. I, I decline. I, de I decline to allow you to kill my pit bull if you're MLR. I appreciate the offer, though. So, Rhino MRS could be a pretty tough combo. Get off this tab. No, I, dude, we already talked about this. I'm not, I'm not up for it. No, no, thank you. No. <laughs> just, just no. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to make that trade. Unit ready. 
No, this guy's really, uh, really insistent. He isn't, he isn't getting the message. How close am I to Kodiak? Actually pretty close now, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Got him. Alright, we might actually battle Kodiak this game. Well, Kodiak might actually see some action. Another MLRS? Dude, can't just... No, we've been over this. It's not gonna happen, it's except... Except it's not gonna happen and move on. This Pitbull is not dying. I'm very invested in the welfare of this Pitbull. Alright, good job. But go hide in the corner, Pitbull. Can't risk him dying. You are victorious. Alright, Scraton, who I assume is from Stratum. Which I think is on the Thames. Is that right? I feel like Stratton on Thames is a place. Anyway, Stratton on Thames. I see you playing Jade. Do you have a chem unit to go with your Jade, Stratton on Thames? I see a laser opening, sneaking around the bottom of the map. Very sneaky. I did manage to identify him though. Saw it coming. We'll just keep making dogs for now. Get them woof woofs online. No oh, laser drones? Alright, that's annoying. Stratham is in London, has been called. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, that's where the Thames is as well, right? So, these things check out. Get this doggo on here. Oh, I don't want to get 2v1. That doesn't sound like fun. Alright, cool. The fact he has laser drones makes me think he's even less likely to have a chem unit. And I'll tell you why, chat. This isn't going to be a very friendly explanation, but basically I think if you're playing laser drones, you're probably not very good at the game. Because laser drones are terrible. So if you're playing laser drones and Jade, also terrible, you're probably not going to be playing that chem unit to go with it. Because your deck is probably just absolutely horrible. It's a bit away from the Thames, that's disappointing. Alright, Stratton, not upon Thames. Do you have a game plan for the future of this game? It looks like your game plan is in fact to continue spamming laser drones. So no is the answer. You have no plan for the rest of this game. I guess we could make a missile. We don't have to make pitfalls only. Even though they are going to win easily. No Kodiak for us today, sadly. The game was not long enough to, uh, to allow the endangered species of the Kodiak out. Objective complete. Oh shit, 300 bits? Yo, thank you, Earl Grey. I sack 85. Is that like a different way of spelling Isaac? Is it the misspell of Isaac? Is it stand for something? <laughs> Do you guys think it stands for I suck at Command and Conquer? <laughs> Ah, that's too mean. He is playing Solomon, which, uh... Solomon is usually a good indicator that someone's not very good at the game. I'm not saying always, obviously. Sometimes you can play Solomon and be good, but most of the time you play Solomon when you think that tech is the be-all and end-all, and the only commander that's remotely playable is the one that can kill a tech unit. That's usually when you see Solomon. This guy opened Talon, and then went Mohawk, and then went Drone Swarm. What a surreal game of Command and Conquer Rivals this has been. Like, what an odd and eclectic selection of units. He's like, I'm just gonna make one of each of the air units. Oh, is that Mohawk gonna win? No, not quite. That was close, though. This Pitbull dies with a drone swing. Feels bad, dude. I do have Talon in the deck. I guess we could make Talon. That seems like a pretty good counter. Can somebody reasonably explain to me how you get the pronunciation Thames in the English language? I suspect Black Razor could do that pop tart. Uh, how close are we to Kodiak? Pretty far still. Not looking great for my boy Kodiak. Maybe we can stall out the game a little. Let there be Kodiak, that kind of thing. Yeah, we can probably we can probably like stall out the game a little. Although it kind of looks like I have to give him the missile to stall the game, and I'm not a huge fan of that one. Alright, come on, Kodiak. Let's get him over here. I want the Kodiak to, like, at least do something, you know? 
Come on, Brodiak. Brodiak. Come on, Brodiak. Woo! Nice. Brodiak to the rescue. This is another reason I hate Slingshot, by the way. It takes Slingshot an eternity to kill a Kodiak, and a Kodiak one shot Slingshot, so... Your Slingshot, which is supposed to be like a fully anti-air unit, just gets annihilated by this air unit. Hey, it's Stratton on Thames again. Well, not on Thames, I guess, as we found out recently. Just Stratton. Let's see what he's up to today, shall we? Laser first again, so sneaky. I'm going to predict, guys, just to just throw it out there, I'm going to predict we're going to see lasers and laser drones. Just a, just a hunch. Something, something tells me we're going to see laser and laser drone. Oh, there it is! Strat off Thames, oh my god. <laughs> oh, you should be careful making pun making jokes like that, Buzz. The, uh, we turn, we turn timeout back on. <laughs> People can redeem timeout. So you, need to, you need to watch it making jokes like that. You're in real danger. So laser drones and lasers, as predicted. This time I'm not going to just spam people. I'm going to make an actual hard counter. I do want to kill a harvester and get a Kodiak out. Gets a sub for it? Oh my god. <laughs> Gets a sub for it instead. Outrageous. Fully undeserved. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the gifts of uh, Gary. Right, let's try and get this harvester so that we can afford our sweet, sweet Kodiak. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Oh, we're so close. Come on, we're so close. Come on, Pitbull. Two more shots. Come on, one more. Oh, absolutely nightmare. All right, the shock trooper's going for it. Come on, shock trooper. Go on, shock trooper. You can do it. I believe in the heart of the shock trooper. Come on, shock he. Come on, do me proud, mate. Do me proud. I'll give you a medal if you get the harvester kill. Yes, one singular medal for the shock trooper. All right, Kodiak's going for the base. Here it is. The race is on. Kodiak versus base. Uh oh, a cyborg. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, chat. Go, Kodiak. I believe in you. Go, 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 go. No, don't stop me doing. All right, I don't believe in you anymore. I no longer believe in you, Kodiak. You have, uh, you have lost my faith. We're going back to Shock Trooper. Shock Trooper, who deserves all the medals. He will let us down. That is a lot of cyborgs, my dude. I have you. He's going for the half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a Widowmaker and a Jade Missile? I'm surprised I lost that one. Ginger Dom? Is that like... Is his name Dominic? Is he a Ginger Dominic? Is that what's going on? Missiles first, okay. Unit ready. Redeems timeout on Quasar. Savage. Alright, see you later, Quasar. Alright, so that's a lot of missiles. I don't think I want to go any more dogs. I think I'm just going to go for the shocks. Well, the dogs are kind of amazing. You can just spam dogs. It's really hard to break through the wall of dogs before the missile fires. Drone swarm? Uh oh. That's really good against my shock trooper. Almost like it counters it. Alright, I think we're gonna do okay here. Oops, Mr. Block. Mr. Block. Wait, that's a dog? That was meant to be a shock trooper. Oh dear, now we're in trouble. Oh, oh no, we're good. We're, we're Gucci, we're Gucci. We've got pitbulls for days, son. Easy. Easy patch, boys. Alright, let's go for Senor Cody out. See if we can make something happen. 
We are only 110 away from Kodiak. Peanuts. We're almost there. We'll make some dogs and missiles until we get there. Fred is a tank. Yikes. Six, 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 six. Run away. Run away post haste. We'll perform a tactical withdrawal from this Predator tank. Almost got the Kodiak now. I actually kind of want to stall because I want more time for Kodiak to go for the base. Uh oh, snipers as well. That's not good. Alright, we're going to send everything with the Kodiak. Team Kodiak assemble. Let's go. It's like the Avengers assemble the better. Go, Team Kodiak! Oh yeah, it's over. It's over, boys. Team Kodiak, assemble. Let's go. This one's done, though. GG, Ginger Dom. You should have blocked my Kodiak sooner. Ah, feels amazing. Objective complete. Ginger Dom again. I feel like we are extraordinarily unlikely to be able to Kodiak him again, especially if he surrenders to me. That's gonna make it even harder to Kodiak him. Alright, this guy apparently put an L in the middle of his name because he's obviously called Trey. Unit ready. So we're gonna see. Oh, bike rush tray. No, 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 no. That's not okay. This is actually pretty awkward. I think I should probably go missiles on this map. Like I'll save for 50, go missile, put the harvester behind it. I think fighting with the pitbull isn't really the, isn't really the best. So yeah, we'll go missile, move the half back, put the missiles in front, make another missile. Jobs are good. And nice rush, mate. Looks like he didn't fully commit to the rush because it was just two bikes. So yeah, he went bike, bike, harvester, it looks like. Yep. Now we'll go pitbull because I want something that moves. Oh, he boosted as well? What did you throw me? Feels bad to waste that extra 30 and not get the harvester. Like, if I spent the extra 30, I'd really want the harvester kill. Oh well. You know, sometimes you win, some, you win some, you lose some, you know? Sometimes you get him, sometimes you get got. Trey, Trey, Trey. I'm gonna start attacking his base now, make it easier for the Kodiak later on. Although actually, more half kills means faster Kodiak, so... He wants that half, he wants that half, boys, he wants it. Is he gonna get it? Trey, try hard, Trey, can you do it? Oh, Trey, no. Savage letdown, Trey, savage letdown. How close are we to Kodiak? Still not that close. Very disappointingly far from the Brodiac. Oh, he moved the harvester off to the missiles. Ooh. Teaching him how to actually do it. You know, it's like if you want to kill a harvester, mate, this is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, Trey. <laughs> you silly sausage. Oh, Brodiac time. Let's put the half down here. He'll never look for it there. This game has clearly devolved into harvester killing. That's all that matters. Like, whether he kills my harvester is the only thing that matters at this point. Looks like we're going to get him, though. No harvester kills for you, Trey. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. I wonder if my shots can kill the half in time. Yeah, of course they can. Easy claps. Unlucky, mate. Nice bike rush and stuff. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New J J J J. Quad J. Interesting. I love it when people have names like this. Like he's clearly put a lot of effort and thought into his name. The game's gone. What do you want to call yourself? And he's like, blah, blah, blah. just gonna mash the J key a bunch of times. Let me play the game. I don't care about my name. Just mash the J key. And then obviously you play the game for a bit, and you're like, oh, actually, you know, what? I like this game. And then you go, and you're like, okay, how do I change my name? Oh, you can't. Okay, I guess I'm J J J J forever. Guess that's just who I am now. 
mash some buttons when I made my first account and now I'm locked into it. Kinda like that guy GG GG. <laughs> Just mash that keyboard man. He's like, what's my name? Gary. What should my in-game name be? GG GG. Oh god, a catch it. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I actually think catch up is not as bad as people think. I think it's okay. Uh, do I go second shock or do I go dog? I'll go dog. I'll go dog, get the shock over here. The dog will slowly chip away at those flames. Oh, another flame, I don't like that. That's very bad for me. That is very, very bad. Oh, hang on. I need the pit bull to tank and then him not to pay attention, basically. That's how I. I have Talon, right? Yeah, Talon has to be the play here. Oh wow, the flames are stretching. Not good. Not good, my dudes. I definitely need Talon spam. Ah, the go-to. When you're in trouble with GDI, spam some Talon. Never fails. Oh my god, can you stop blocking me, my dude? JJJJ JJ, JJ with the blocks. Look at him trying to air block me constantly. Or block, block my air with his ground, I should say. But luckily, Nod struggles versus light air. When in doubt, spam that light air. Wow, what bike? Do you think you've overcommitted on bikes at all, JJJJ? Or do you think four was the correct number of bikes to make? Looks like he's pretty happy with his decision of four bikes. All right, I respect it. You know, he's made four bikes. He's happy with it. He's like, this is what I want from life, four bikes. Most of them are gone now, sadly. Sadly, the bikes are a thing of the past at this point, but, you know, he clearly had a plan. He knew what he wanted to do, and it was make bikes, and he did it. My hair's going everywhere, so it's final. That is a lot of flamers. <laughs> I, I see this guy's strategy. I see what he likes to do. Whatever's on the field, he makes five counters to it. He's like, ah, missiles? Flame, 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 flame. Because he's JJJJ, you see? So when there's something, he goes four bikes. He goes bike, 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 bike. And then he needs to deal with lasers, so he goes flame, 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 flame. He's just living up to the name. It's a, it's a whole quad, a whole quad themed account. Now the whole account is themed around this quad, uh, this quad strategy. Four J's, four flames, four bikes. I like it. This guy knows what's up. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New Butt scratch off. Butt scratch off. I play against this guy a fair bit. Oh. I didn't mean to do that, my dogs. Since he opened rifles, we'll probably go multiple dogs, but it depends if he goes missile or not. Yeah, he did, so we'll go second dog. We might even go third dog. If he opened, because he's got, if he goes second missile, we go third dog. Otherwise, we just push in with the dogs against the missiles. Try and get some chip damage on the rifles, that kind of thing. If he goes into Pitbull, alright, so we go third dog. If he goes Pitbull, we wouldn't go third dog. Obvs. Get a shock out. There's the Pitbull. Get the dogs out of the way. Get the shock trooper in there. Alright, we're on the pad, let's go. MLRS? MLRS. He's gonna try and go for my harvester, because that's a lot. Oftentimes, when people get blocked out of the missile, they go for the harvester instead. He's gonna block him out with the dogs. Looks like we're gonna lose half by, uh, because of pop cap. Yeah, that's annoying. Just pop capped on dogs, so I couldn't really answer the attack on the harvester. Looks like he wants to try and lock me out of the, the harvesting as well. It's very aggressive with him. Is that double MLRS he went? Oh my god, what? What's happening? Kind of annoying, because obviously we need to wait for our Kodiak to really have a true answer to it. Unit enhanced. 
Uh, yeah, he's going after my harvester, but like, he's probably be focusing on the game so he doesn't lose it. Yeah, okay. Not the half, I guess. That's that's a win, right? That's a win. Because he got the half. Got the half twice, in fact. Seems like he's the true victor here. <laughs> he got two halves, I got two missiles. Let's see who wins the game. Let's find out who gets the win. <laughs> oh, it's me. What a bug. Clearly a bug. He got two halves, I only got two missiles. Clearly bug game. He got the true win condition repeatedly. All right, guys. Sadly, there's not as much Kodiak as I would have liked there. But uh, some amount of Kodiaking. Some amount of Kodiaking. I hope you guys enjoyed the Kodiaking. And I will see you all next time.